Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. Hope you're doing well out there. We are once again joined by Wolf of Ricana. Yeah. As we continue down this mentally challenging sequel that has already made me question more than Sonic Adventure 1 has, and it's only been an hour. However, without further ado, let's return to the dark story. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, the one and only ultimate life form. So these did have voice acting. I took the Chaos Emerald from the National Reserve Bank. I, and I'm now the military and police are chasing me. I don't care if they know who I am because they'll never catch me. It's just a waste of time. There's no time for games. I have to get out of here. Fast. Okay, who was the original voice actor for Shadow? David Humphrey. He sounds so bored in this role. I this is actually my favorite of the of the shadow voices. I know he just sounds incredibly bored reading that monologue. Yeah, he kind of grows into it later down the line. He still sounds incredibly bored. But he sounds less bored than he does. That. Yep. All right, I'll take the right path. You, if you're coming from the last episode, congratulations for making it. But you should know my feelings are starting to cement again for this one. I'm trying to remain positive, but compared to Sonic Adventure 1... <laughs> again, I gotta remember that this one had even less of a development time. What? I was getting ready to basically just explain some of the differences between Sonic and the Shadow here. You know, aside the color, their running styles, blah blah blah. Voice acting, origin story. How one well, is okay. I mean, yes, but I mean, as far as the game goes, not necessarily the story. How one is because, able <laughs> to have relations with a human while everyone scoffs the other. You can drop that now. I think they get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm going to keep putting that in everyone's face because oh, no, of that. We'll, we'll, get it, we'll get into that. You will get into that. <laughs> but. Well, the, uh, the difference here between Sonic and Shadow is running, obviously. Oh, he starts to stay. The shoes that he's wearing are specifically mace. But, uh, this is kind of something that doesn't get explained until later. Technically, it's kind of the game for this one, but it goes, just kind of comes into the later on. Oops. The ring that he's wearing. Oops. Just went over the power up over here. But yeah, he also wears rings on his arms, which are limiters, essentially. Don't ask about I could tell. And yes, I had to keep pausing just to hear her because even at five volume on the mixer, this is what you're still hearing. Yeah, we can't change that, unfortunately. I wish we could. Five. And I even have it reduced even further in the recording software. The hell, Sega. Yeah, you see, there, there is a specific, uh, a specific title for stuff like this. And usually this is something that comes up in the cutscenes, uh, which is where it pretty much got its, where this title pretty much came to be. I refer to it, and I think most of the most of the community also refers to it as Sonic Adventure Syndrome. What I mean by that is the game audio, music and music and everything, the music and the cutscenes just 
overpowers everything. We're kind of also victims of that right now. <laughs> yep. Motion sickness, the game. Because, you know, those missiles came through a solid steel beam behind us. Given their trajectory, they came through the solid steel beam. Essentially, I'm stuck down, down here, huh? No. Huh? No, you're not. No. Oh, okay. You know, they don't teach that. That'll, that'll get him to automatically grab the ledges. Okay. I'm just going to stand here a moment. Oh, it was these flying bastards. They pushed me off the ledge. Okay then. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay. Bear in mind there is a point. But you can just fall there. What were they thinking with this game? Oh my god. Unless I make like a pretty time one for something. So So, you mean to tell me you have to wait for the fighter to go while listening to that horrible sound effect? All based upon yeah. momentum that was just completely random by the time you did that jump. Whereas sometimes it puts you up on the screen, hey, and other times it doesn't. Is that what this game is telling me? There we go. If I can help it, I never think of it. I think if I can do that, I can do that. Okay. okay, it should be close enough now. What was the difference? I don't know. I didn't even jump off it. What was the difference? The other two times I, I jumped in know. the exact same angle and just...
And no, I'm not even playing this up for yucks, no. This is me actually trying. Anyone who's watched my Sonic Adventure playthroughs knows I'm pretty decent at this kind of shit. Somehow. This. This is a completely different beast, and it was just a six-month processing period between this and Sonic Adventure 1. What happened? Huh? This is... Oh, no, I was saying it, but, uh... I was playing this a little bit better. And I don't think that's happening. I'm not tooting my own here. I'm saying that... His whole thing of saying that I'm better at Sonic games than he is, it shows here more than it would show in Sonic games. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. Oh no, Shadow, you did fine. We're wrestling with some bad controls right now. Yep. Oh hey, isn't this familiar? What? Skip? Yep. You can skip this. This is the exact same cutscene. Oh look, the egg quarters. This is Rouge. I've located oh, Eggman's great. base this and will proceed to enter it now. Utilize the shadow. <sighs> You're gonna have to utilize the I hate to say it. You can throw I it off. I guess I'm light. going to have to find but that just, key first. Just remember, if you start hearing a whirring sound, huh. get to a different area that has shadow. Huh. Huh. That's the spot. Game of robots! However, it turns out that it has a piece of shadow to it. Basically, black. Black plates on the ground, of course. Then you're more than. You're more than. Two. So, I think even up there counts too. As long as you're not in its line of sight or anywhere where that can, like, can touch you, it's fine. Uh. So, did Eggman create the ghosts, or did they come free of charge? I think they did. Just like, uh, this guy's knuckles, yes, but it's here, down at the bottom, he's collecting, it's gonna be cool. Not sure. He will find something. Okay, it's the egg snake. The ground. What? I said you can't pick yet, so none of these are underground, by the way. It's supposedly in here, but... There it goes. Yeah. Oh man. I hated these stages back in Sonic Adventure 1, and guess what? They're worse now. In many ways. Yeah. Yeah. I actually I prefer Sonic Adventure 1 uh style. What are these? Pick nails. You can dig into the ground or walls. So maybe there is one. There's one that's hidden within This is the egg fish chamber. Oh, lovely.
And I hope you all like the sound of vacuums, because that's what we're hearing for a while now. Where? It says it's right here. I just dug there. What the hell? You were just slightly off by a tile. Oh, I was just not holding my tongue in the proper direction. Oh, I just didn't get it right. I understand what you're saying, but still. God damn this level! Uh, I know. I know. Like I said, I don't like playing these levels. Oh, yeah. However, there is a way. There is a way to turn it cool. It's gotta be close. Lucky. Here. Shoot. Oh. Uh, at kind of. Dark Sonic. That was my hint. Dark Sonic. right here there's no way to go lower is there what but I, I don't, I'm, I'm saying you're super close to it that's why it's beeping like crazy but you um you'll notice when you're actually that close to it this point where it's, like, it's obvious that you're near it yeah, that's why I was saying about the other one. Here, though, it's in the. I understand the hint, and it's a stupid fucking hint. I got it. Case in point, there. That was a really stupid hint. I don't remember <laughs> any of them ever being carried to the wall like that. Not too bad, I guess. I don't remember any of them being buried like that one was. <gasps> it's a space transporter. And you just knew that by looking at it. Wasn't that space colony shut down uh, over 50 years ago? I kind of lost audio. What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Well, I can't really do anything about it until we get to the next ending of the... The Lost Colony. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that yeah, Shadow meant back. before Why he left. Why was Bruce muted for me? That was weird. I don't know, but, um, one moment. And we are back. Hopefully. 
I was addressing the issue before we continued, even though I think she had the blessing in disguise. I mean, I don't really mind Rouge's voice that much. Oh no, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just talking about the entirety right now. So, this thing was abandoned for 50 years, and it suffered no integral damage. All its defenses are still alive and well. Is that what you're telling me here? I think a portion of these are actually controlled the AI. If it's been 50 years, that means the software is completely outdated and it would have corrupted. And if this is an HD, which most likely was at the time, even if it was Space Age, there would still be issues. And the fact that it's using modern day freaking technology. I mean, I I honestly can like just just like all the plot holes with the first one. There's not much I can really explain here either. This is all modern day gun equipment. This is modern day freaking flip switches and everything. There are gun crates in here. Yep. If I'm not mistaken, I do think gun was a police force even even fifteen Gerald was still alive. Yes, but how do you explain that for 50, 50 but years? But as for what, as for what he keeps running? This place should be a travesty right now. What? Aside, you know, with modern technology. Okay, is there a switch somewhere? Because I feel like that should be a secret. Also, how is Eggman holding up that huge robot? I don't know. Charles does it too, and it's very, very weird. I took the fast way. First time we can play as freaking Robotnik and it's a mess thing. Bad mech thing at that. What were they thinking? They could have gave us the bubble car, but they gave us legs for some reason. Why? Oh, that was close. I must picked up the key. It's useless to run around in circles. Find a way out. Look, if I want to get lost in the maze, it's my god-given right. Plus, we can stop Eggman from doing something really stupid. Or we can get him the jet engine. There we go. Mandatory plot. Which, by the way... You do realize that we're helping the bad guy get stronger, right? Yep. Fly over it. As a matter of fact, if you did I think uh we are actually stronger than the weird We are we're overpowering him, but we don't get that option. Many holes in the 
Look, I'm a master of falling into holes in this game already, okay? If I want to fall into them, I will. Once you get 2,000 points, it just says perfect. Huh. It says perfect. If you get enough to thousand. Don't mind me, just using my patented perfect accuracy score method. Just circle around a bunch of times. Hey, Big! Oh, 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 oh. oh look, he's there again. Why? That's what I've been asking this entire time. And no one will tell me. For you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know Hello, that the Ark contained a top secret research. Question where weapons by mankind. Does that mean that there are other species out there? A weapon capable of destroying an entire planet. We'll get to that Both when Shadow actually gets his own game. Eclipse cannon. Destroying an entire planet. Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. Yeah, a good 50 years. To reactivate So it, how did the giant space turtle survive all that time? Of energy are necessary. It was, it was But it has fleshy components. In fact, it's called the Bio Lizard. Oh. Yep. So that's okay. why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. Eggman, we've been over this plotline before with chaos. Do you remember how well that went with you for you? <laughs> well, I mean, technically, uh, Bile Lizard, Bile Lizard is sweet. So, do you really think it will be that easy? Hi, Rouge. Holding your chest, of course. We can't get you on the ceiling I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? Did they really have to add the glide sound effect there? When you grab yes. that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with a master emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you think? If I do, 
What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. I may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Hold you. <laughs> Very well. Okay, and again, it glides on effect just continues. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. They do kind of do. I've I've seen on the GameCube version. They actually do pay attention to. They do give a little bit of attention to detail, and she does flap her wings there. So that sound makes sense. But it didn't look like it was here. To be here on the island. Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well. Very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has Okay, he is a super advanced scientist who is still just mm. using dynamite. Sneak into the cargo area and grab yep. the pink separately. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? To avoid too much attention from certain lovely alphabet officials, I'm not going to list other kind of explosives he could have had his hands on, which are easily available to the common masses. That's enough of a statement to get them looking. The weapon's big. However, this is what we're calling it for this episode. Ooh, this is a place where you can get a lot of uh, a lot of that perfect score I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And boy, am I looking forward to that. So I'll catch you all in the next episode. Have a good one. See you later.